What is up guys, my name is Ignas, welcome back to the channel. We are now in week 37 for our technical analysis and Utora stock trading portfolio update. I have picked a few names, so first we will take a look into the charts, then how the ticker stands on our watchlist, and lastly the moves in Utora. An early thumbs up would be much appreciated and with that out of the way, let's start. This week we did a stock comparison on a few EV names from China, and that is when I decided to add NIA, ticker symbol NIO, into the watchlist. Watchlist. The stock was moving nicely two weeks back with the highest of $41.86 per share. The relative strength index was at around 50 and the 12 day moving average of the MACD was moving further away from the 26th one. But then on Wednesday it saw a drop of almost 10% to the lows of $37.81 per share. The relative strength index went down to 41.5 and we had the first red bar in the histogram of the MACD. The name was moving sideways up until Wednesday, but now it's again 1% lower at $37.50 per share. The relative strength index is still at 40 and we will soon be getting a bearish crossover in the MACD lines. Looking into the moving averages, the 50 day one is under the 200 one, meaning that the price was moving lower recently, but that also gives hope in getting a reversal sometime in the future. Now let's set up a few support and resistance targets. So the first support will be quite close at $36.69 and the second a bit further down at $31.18. As for resistances I've picked $40.95 as the first and $45.85 for the second. These will be added into the watchlist and let's see how that works. So it is now in the watchlist and the price is in yellow being under the first resistance but over the first support target. For the price to go to the second support it needs to go down for 16.65%. The first support is lower for 1.92%. To get to the first resistance the price needs to go up for 9.46%. And for the second resistance there is still 22.56% to go up. The watchlist suggests that I don't need to go in just yet. But with a few percent down to go I will be looking into the the name closely to start a position in. Let's see if we can actually reach that price. Second name today is Autodesk, ticker symbol ADSK. When we covered it last week, the stock just had a 10% drop and the price was moving sideways for a few days, dancing just over our second support target. But then on Monday, there was another drop to the lows of $278 per share. The relative strength index was just under 30 at 28 and the 12 day moving average of the MACD was under the 26th one, but closing the gap just a little bit. So with the price dropping under our second support, I started another position there. Maybe I could start adding letters on the candles. So on buying in I would add a green letter B and selling out would be a red letter S. Tell me in the comments what you think about this idea. Now on Wednesday the price is 1.15% up going to the highest of $280.85 per share. The relative strength index is just over 30 at 31.65 and we have 6 days of green bars in the histogram of the MACD. So in the watchlist Alibaba is now in bright green with the price being between the second and third support targets. To get to the third support the price needs to go down for 3.68%, for the second support it needs to go up for 0.85%, first support is up for 8.44%, First resistance is up for 13.44%, second resistance up 18.57% and third resistance up 21.79%. So as mentioned on Monday we added $100 into the name and got 0.35 of a share at $283.49 per share. Unfortunately the current price is still lower at $282.47 and that currently puts it at a losing trade at minus 0.3%. Overall we have $200 invested in the name and we are now at minus 1.4% with the value of the position at $197.19. The third name today is Alibaba, ticker symbol BABA. We had these two drops to our third support target by the end of August, but that proved to be quite the good support and the price bounced back up. On September 1st, the relative strength index was moving up to 44 and we had a bullish crossover in the MACD lines. Unfortunately, the price stayed flat for a few days after that and this week we are moving lower again. On Monday the price closed at $163 per share with the relative strength index at 40 and 3 red bars in a row in the histogram of the MACD. Now on Wednesday we have another big red day with the price going down for 3.6% to the lows of $154.27 per share. 
the relative strength index is at 32 and we may be looking into a bearish crossover in the MACD lines. So setting that third support and the price going under it meant that I had to start another long position in the name. So in the watchlist Baba is now in bright green with the price being under all three support targets. To get to the third support the price needs to go up for 2.34%, for the second support there is 27.6% of room, first support is up for 32.78%, first resistance resistance up for 48.97% and second resistance is up there at 54.16%. So 100 more dollars was added on Wednesday and that got us 0.64 of a share at $156.78. But with the current price of 154 we are now down for 1.52%. Overall we have added $300 in the name and we are now down for 15.2% with a value of $254.40. It's a bit tough seeing all the red in this name but buying at these current levels really helps in our average opening price. And I don't mind holding the name for a longer period. Let's see how that plays out. Next name is Las Vegas Sands, ticker symbol LVS. In the second part of August the stock was selling off with the loss of just over $36 per share. The relative strength index was at around 20 and the MACD lines were moving really close to each other. But our second support proved to be on point as the shares really took off from there. In a span of 2 weeks almost 30% was added. But then the price reached our first resistance at 45 and stopped moving up from there. The relative strength index started inching lower to around 50 and we had the first red bar of many to come in the histogram of the MACD. Tuesday was a huge red day with the price moving down for almost 10% to the lows of $36.93 per share. But it closed right there at our first super target. The relative strength index was at 37 and we had a bearish crossover in the MACD lines. Now on Wednesday we got another 4% down and that is where our second super target is at around $37 per share. The relative strength index is now at 33.5 and the 12 day moving average of the MACD is going further away from the 26th one to the lower side. So as we are real close to our second support, I have opened a trade for a position there, but I want to get just a bit better of a price. We will check on that on eToro shortly. But first let's take a quick look into the watchlist. So the name is now in light green with the price being under the first support but over the second support target. In order to get to the second support the price needs to go down for 0.81%, for the first support it needs to go up for 4.71%, first resistance is up for 21.45% and second resistance is up for 33.42%. So for Las Vegas Sands I have an open order for $100 at $0.36 cents per share. With the current price it still needs to go down for $1.17 per share. But after looking at the chart earlier I think we may as well reach that point sooner than later. Let's see if this order actually fills in the next few trading days. The last name we have today is Barry Gold, ticker symbol GOLD. Starting with the middle of August, the price dropped to around $20 per share and was moving sideways in this channel between our first and second support targets. We had a few drops under our second support, with the most notable being on August 20, where the price went to the lows of $18.76 per share. Unfortunately, we didn't have any free funds at the time. Then that was followed with a month of sideways movement between those first and second support targets. But last week on Friday the price dropped again to the lows of $19.35 per share, which was in fact under our second super target. The relative strength index was at 40 and the 12 day moving average of the MACD went down to the 26th one. The price is now right there at the support, the relative strength index at 42 and the MACD lines showing exactly zero. So in the watchlist GOLD is now in bright green with the price being under both first and second support targets. So to get to the second support there is 0% because the price is right there at it. Then first support is up for 4.46%. First resistance is up for 10.98%. Second resistance is up for 16.83%. And third resistance is up there at 24.53%. I didn't yet buy another position but I added an order for it. So we have $100 reserved at a price of $19.30 per share. With the current price of 19.47 it still needs to go down for 17 cents per share. But I don't see strength in both the relative strength index and the MACD lines, so I'm hopeful that we will get a position at our set price. 
So that was it for today's update. If you got value or new ideas, then make sure to push the thumbs up. It helps the channel a lot. If you would be interested in adding your ticker into the watchlist, then suggest one in a comment below. On the other hand, if you want to get access to the said watchlist, then consider memberships. By becoming a member, you will get access to Discord, where I share the stock watchlist and all the buys and sells exactly when I do them. This could be a great option to track my moves closely. This week we did a stock comparison on a few large EV manufacturers from China, and last week that was three large aerospace and defense names. If you are interested in any of these, then click on a video currently on the screen. And that was it from my side, thank you for watching and I will be seeing you all in the next one.